Yes. President Yoram Seven has attributed the atrocities to the sister in implementing intelligence information at the time to fight back the road to resistance army rebel leader Joseph Kohn and his remnants. The president, however, applauded the people of northern Uganda for responding immediately by empowering the Arab boys. Similarly, we could not blame the people of Anchori for the, for the crimes of Kohn. We couldn't. In fact, you remember the people of Anchori were the first to take up arrows against coin. They formed arrow, arrow groups to fight coin. It was us who were a bit slow in defending them. Actually, we are the ones to blame. So I would like to use this occasion to call on the people of Uganda to forget about these mistake makers. These mistake makers, we are making mistakes as individuals, not on behalf of anybody, not even their own families. On the atrocities committed by the late Idi Amin Dada, Museveni said the people of West Nile are not to blame because there is no evidence to support the alleged claims. As a people, I've never supported Idi Amin. That's why I never blamed them at all. I cannot. Where was the general meeting called by Idi Amin of Kakwas to say, we have got a general meeting, we now go to kill people. Show me the general meeting. Or the resolution, where was the resolution passed? The president so, said this while officiating at the rebellious ceremony of former army chief of staff in Idi Amin's regime, Charles Arube in Koboko district. I would like to salute uh, Arube. I've now known uh, more about him. That he shot himself. That's how soldiers die. That's the death of a soldier. To shoot yourself. If you are in a bad situation, ah, trigger. That's a real soldier now. He attributed the past political insurgencies in the country to foreign governments that helped to impose bad leaders on Ugandans. All this problem would not have been here if we had been alone, but we are with, with, the, with the Tanzanians. The Tanzanian army was still here, and somehow these UPCs went and confused the, our elder, Mwari Munyerere, to support their line, which was the wrong line. Otherwise, if we were by ourselves, all this would never have happened. The president reassured the people of West Nile of government insecurity, despite political instabilities in neighboring countries like DR Congo. Whatever happens in Congo, Sudan, will never affect us because we have got a big capacity. We can defend ourselves now. Meanwhile, preparations ahead of the Tarahi Study celebrations are in Nigeria, with all security agencies in rehearsals ahead of the big day tomorrow. The 32nd celebrations will be held in Inarua district as a gesture of appreciation to the contribution of the local communities towards the NRA struggle. Julius Senkandua, NTV.